All right, we're on day eight at 4.15 p.m. Ingrid and I are not leaving the construction site today. We fly out in 48 hours, actually less. So we have one more full day to get all this done. The outside chicken coops built from these pallets, those breeding cages will be built after we leave. My main concern is to get all of this wiring that they're doing, get all this caged in, all this cleaned up, get all the trash, the garbage out of here. Get all this as a breedable area for the chickens. That door over there is gonna be built probably tonight, if not first thing in the morning at the crack of dawn. We're almost done. Breeding section in here is almost done. They're getting ready, they're putting the perches in front of the nest here so the chickens can hop up on the perches and go into the nest. This area is all being cleaned out. This is where we held some chickens in a temporary cage. We're gonna get all this cleaned out tonight. And we're gonna get the chick area built tonight. It's gonna be done. We're borrowing uh, power from the house next door with an extension cord so we can work late at night to get this done. So the perches are almost done here and the, cage, the, uh, the, uh, the egg laying section is over there as well. So we ended up with 80 egg laying nest, 28 breeding nest inside with an additional 14 larger breeding nest. That's about 10 inches off the ground, 14 inches off the ground outside. So we have plenty of breeding uh, space for the uh, hens and the roosters. Go ahead, it's okay. And then outside, we tagged all the chickens today, except the ones in the cage you just saw earlier. We got all these guys tagged with year and date bands, so we know what year they're born in. So in 18 to 24 months, we can rotate the livestock. These chickens will be food or sold for income with the family, and new hens will be brought in to uh, rotate it in for production. So we had to put up a temporary bar barrier right here. It's just temporary because these guys we bought from a different farm. And this rooster and these four hens are fighting with all these really nice hens over here. So they're in timeout right now. So we put this temporary up. This is just to keep them separated for now. We're gonna put these guys in the breeder section on the other side that they're working on it tonight. So they'll be separated. These are gonna be, uh, half will be our egg layers and the other half will be for breeding. So the breeding section is gonna be real interesting mixing hens from two or three different farms. Looks like we're gonna have a couple fights for a few days. Uh, the roosters are brothers, so they get along. But the hens were, uh, these, these two or three hens here were fighting like crazy with all these nice hens, our common collective over here. So they're gonna have to fight it out in the free range area and find their own little spot to get along. All right, that's the update at 4.15. And on top of that, as you can see, but rain is on the horizon. But fortunately, it's not hitting us. These pallets here are stacked up on the outside of the chicken run of this section on the inside of the breeding area. We're gonna again use those materials to build the outdoor uh, breeding nest. We have 10 metal roofs like this uh, in the front yard and we'll basically put this kind of roof over the top of the uh, it's basically around 36 inches square is what they'll end up with for um, breeding nest outdoors with a nice tin roof on it that's sloped so the water will run off and it'll be open so they can have lots of room to run in and out and do their thing. So that's the update. Thanks for watching.